What's up everybody, this is always back with another Revit tutorial. I'm going to show you the House Project 3 tutorial I made on YouTube and I've got a few questions on that video. So I'm going to be answering those questions. So that was a full project I made in Revit and the video is on YouTube, right? So the question was how to create a round wall. So as you can see that this building this house is pretty much a rectangular. There is nothing around wall or around doors. So I'm going to be showing you how to edit families and how to edit walls or any object you already made. For that, I'm going to close this project and we're going to start with a new template. I'm going to select architectural template. First thing what I like to do is change the units because I don't like to work, I actually don't work in any of the units except feet and inches. Select them. It's up to you if you want to keep those inches. So if you're familiar with those units, you can keep them. Doesn't really matter. Click OK. Click OK. Now I'm going to go back to our architecture tab and we're going to create a wall. Select the wall. And in the modify panel, you can see this draw panel there. So if I want to draw a rectangular line or a straight wall, I can do that. But if I go to a draw panel and select the arc, and now I can create the arc. So I'm going to click somewhere here, and now I can just apply the angle as well. So I'm going to just drop it there. Now we can go back and select the line so you can just switch between these objects while you're working on your project. So select the wall. Let's create another arc here and I'm going to create a line from here and maybe just somewhere like this. Okay. All right. So we've created the wall. Now let's go to 3D view by clicking this button there on the top that looks like a, a dog house. Alright, so this is the wall we created in 2D. Let's change that to shaded. Now I'm going to show you how to edit the family. So let's say you have done your house project and one of your bosses tell you that change this wall and make it circle and you don't have to create the whole project and you can edit the family. So if I select that wall I get the option on the top in modify panel edit profile okay so if I select that and now I can modify that profile so let's say I will get rid of this line I would highly recommend select the proper view to edit the profile so let's say if I'm editing this profile I should go to the elevation view but doesn't really matter now so let's say we're gonna create an arc so I'm gonna select the arc starting from this point ending at this point and now I can just apply some angle on the top right let's click on this tick mark button and there you go so you got the round wall on the top you got the round wall on the floor as well so you can modify your families you can modify your uh, pro objects let's select this wall here you have all the modify tools view tools, my tools and create tools. So these are very important. I've done a full series on uh, Revit. So check it out if you want to learn more about it. I'll show you a few more things. Not only you can change the object, but let's say if you got door right. So here if I click I have only one door, but I can load the family by clicking here. But let's say I'll select this door. I drop it somewhere here, okay? And Actually, I'm going to change and I'm going to drop it here. Okay, let's select the door again and drop it here. Okay, because light coming from this way, so we could look at it. Now, if I select the door, I have edit family option now instead of edit profile. So let's click on edit family because this is a family. I've done a full tutorial series on creating families on Revit. I'll drop a link in the description as well. Check it out if you want to learn more about families. So let's say I got this family there now. If you click on your project browser, you can see all the views. So let's say this family has a back view, front view, and top and bottom view as well. So let's click on elevations. We got the back, front, left, right. All right, so I'm going to change that to front to make sure that I change anything on the front. So if I want to change any profile, 
I will make sure that I change from the front. So I select that family, okay? And now I have option edit extrusion, visibility settings, and we can change the family. So I'm gonna select this edit extrusion, and now I can select a specific line. So let's say if I wanna just bring it down, okay? I wanna change the family, and then I wanna get rid of uh, this line. Alright, so to do that, because the Y, I move it down because I wanted these lines to uh, come down. Now let's select arc, start from here all the way to there, and let's create this. Okay, now let's just apply that, and we're gonna go click on load into project, override the existing object, and I actually done that on the back side so that's the front view actually so if you look at it now as you can see that our family has been added did you that was the back side so what we supposed to change but that's all right so you can change any families in a rabbit and you can modify them I've got the whole uh, families files so let's say I've got the, I've actually uploaded on Dropbox, so uh, you find a link in one of my Revit project videos, so I've got a lot of families, I've already downloaded from different websites, I have different styles of doors, different styles of windows, so if you want to download that, that's free of course, you can download that by going to the link, I think that's on a main project, so, alright, so that's how you can uh, modify families, that's how you can create around walls, not only walls so if you look at the options so if i click on edit profile again so we have a lot of options right so we have a lot of options here so make sure you check them out and if you want to learn more about revit i've got a full tutorial series on revit this is mod these are the modified commands i've actually explained everything so i don't want to go in details because i've already got the tutorials on my youtube channel so thanks for watching guys and if you have any questions about anything about AutoCAD, Revit, let me know in the comments below and I will make a video and I'll try to answer your question in the video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Chase.